藏的山川，想去海边看海浪。不管风雨有多少，有你就足够。People, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time stopping by, feel free to join the family by hitting on the red button there that says subscribe. And also, please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get to be the first person to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate you all. Okay, so let's get into this video. Have you been demonetized because of reused content? Are you growing your channel with plans to get money? for YouTube Partner Program by uploading reused content on your channel or have you been unable to monetize your channel because of reused content? Which one are you? I have been unable to monetize my first channel all because of reused content. That is the one that is trending now on YouTube. YouTube is basically just hitting lots of channels right now all because of reused content. You have reached the threshold, you have 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, but you are still unable to monetize your channel. Or you got your channel monetized and now demonetized all because of reused content. I have been hit by reused content. That's why I am making this video because YouTube just want us to create our own content, and our own original content. If, and even if we have to upload someone else's content, this is what they want us to do before uploading someone else's content. But before we see what they want us to do, first, what is reused content? Let's see YouTube official definition of what is reused content. I'm going to put it on the screen and we all are just going to read it together and why we, I talk about it or whatever. I'm so, just going to put it there on the screen and we all read it together. This is YouTube official definition of what is reused content. And it says reused content refers to channels that repurpose someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value and uh, more to it and more to it it says taking someone else's content making many more changes and calling it your own original work would be a violation of this guideline this policy applies even if you have permission from the original creator so you see the definition is very narrow it is so narrow that you might not really understand what is reuse content. And now they try to simplify it further by explaining to us what they mean by this definition by giving us some examples. And it says clips of moments of your favorite show edited together with little or no narrative. Did you get that? Clips of moments of your favorite show edited together with little or no narrative. That means you put clips of your favorite show together and then you upload it on your channel with little or no narrative. And little, in little to me in this place, what I understand with little or no narrative, little to me it means maybe you upload it and you just say a word or a sentence, you didn't even show your face or maybe just a subtitle in it and that is also, that is little. And no narrative means you didn't even say anything in that video. You just put the clips together and then you upload on your channel without even saying a word in the video so that is no narrative and the next one it says short videos you compiled from other social media websites yeah. so here they talk of short videos you compiled from other social media websites that means um, short videos from TikTok Instagram Facebook all these videos you take a video from TikTok you take a video from Instagram you take a short video from Facebook and you put all these videos together and then you upload them on YouTube YouTube will consider this, um, YouTube will see it as reused content because the algorithm will be able to tell that you are not the original creator. So YouTube will consider it as reused content. And the next example they are giving us here is collections of songs from different artists. Even if you have their permission, YouTube sees that video that you upload, all the collections put together, YouTube sees that video as reused content. So that is it. So you have to be careful with that. Understand. So these are the main examples of what YouTube is trying to make us understand of what is reuse content. So and because the definition is just narrow, so you might not really get it. So that is it. If you don't want to be hit by reuse content, what I would advise you to do is once you upload the video on your channel, you should add commentary voice or on screen. Come on screen and show your face. That's the best way. Once you are, uh, once the video is playing and you are also saying something 
YouTube will be able to see that you are actually adding value into that video. You're not just putting the video out there without any value or no narrative. So YouTube will be able to see that you are actually putting some effort into that video. So the worst is if your channel is being demonetized because of reused content, it is going to be hard for you to appeal because you don't even have the chat support, copyright tool. How are you going to prove to YouTube that you actually added something or you actually added value in to that video because your face the video is just there you just uploaded the video on your channel just like that with little or no narrative in the video so how are you going to prove that to YouTube so you cannot you cannot prove that to YouTube that you actually added value into that video you cannot once you're uploading a reuse content you have to add narrative into the video add some commentary voice into it show your face and say something be on screen that's just it for this video because I was hit by reuse content on my first channel where I was basically just uploading videos with little or no narrative and my channel wasn't approved for YouTube partner program yeah so I will keep you updated on that so as for now just be careful how you upload reuse content on your channel make sure you add commentary voice on screen show your face and uh, that's just how you're going to avoid um, being hit by reused content on YouTube. That's why my channel wasn't approved for YouTube Partner Program because of reused content. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. Until next time, see you in my next video. Sassy Jane. Bye-bye.